What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best features of iOS 10 that Apple didn't actually tell us about at the WWDC, so let's jump right into it. First hidden feature of iOS 10 that Apple did not tell us about is, you guessed it, you can actually remove stock applications just like any other application on iOS. Don't worry, Apple is going to add these to the App Store and you can re-download them from the App Store anytime you want, and it's just like the rumors told us, this is exactly what we wanted in iOS 10. Next up, we have 3D touch in the control center to toggle further settings. This was actually a rumored feature as well. All you have to do is go ahead and 3D touch on any of the settings here in control center. As you can see, the flashlight right now is working. You can change the intensity and this will work with many of the other control center options as well as more betas come out. Pretty awesome. Stolen from jailbreak, anybody? Next up, Apple actually got rid of slide to unlock and now what you do is you go ahead and unlock with touch ID and then you press the home button to unlock your device. A little strange and it's gonna take some getting used to pressing the home button to unlock my device. With Touch ID integration, this shouldn't be a problem. As more betas come out, you should just be able to use Touch ID right there directly on the device to unlock. Also, simple animations have been updated. As you can see, opening an application looks slightly different there, and that goes for many things like the multitasking switcher that required an animation is a little bit different. Moving on, they've added a feature called Bedtime in the Clock application. Basically, what this does is a way to help you sleep better and reminds you to go to bed or wake up at a certain time. I like to think of this as a better alarm application built right into iOS and we all love our sleep so it's good to see Apple's updating this. We also have inline video playback. When a video is playing all you have to do is pinch and it will continue to play right there in Safari not actually taking up the whole screen. Definitely increases the productivity. You can comment on videos and stuff like that right when it's playing. Another hidden feature is that the App Store has actually regained the Categories tab, which they killed off in the past, which just makes the App Store a little bit cleaner looking. Also, the official Game Center application has been killed off, but its functionality is still present throughout games in the operating system, so rather than having a dedicated Game Center app, you'll be able to operate using the games themselves. The keyboard has been given a slightly different clicking sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's just a little more subtle than it used to be. Widgets have been relocated to the left of the home screen and the lock screen rather than being contained in the notification center reminds me a lot of Android and it makes the device a little cleaner and easier to use. These are also live updating and interactive, which is awesome to see. The health application has actually been totally redesigned to match that of Apple Music and it's a lot simpler now and more full featured. And finally, in the messages app, you can actually add red receipts for individuals and in conversations. I know we had red receipts in individual conversations, but you can turn it off for specific contacts and it actually works in conversations with multiple people, which is awesome. I've been waiting for this for a while. Anyways, guys, that's my rundown of the best hidden features that Apple actually didn't tell us about in iOS 10 at the WWDC. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and click the little button down there to subscribe. Also be sure to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus page, and website page all down there in the description. Also check out the links to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.